welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode of Bit Monkey TV. We're back. Hope everybody's had a great start to the new year. I think what we've been gone two weeks. Solid, as you can tell. I'm back where it all started, back at my studio in California. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So let me, uh, whew, excuse me. I've been trying to carry, the, I'm realizing this music's a little too loud. Fix that. I've been carrying the, uh, the momentum from just my body, you know, adjusting between time zones. Let me make sure we're live because I don't see that we're live here. Oh yeah, we're live. Um, making sure my body adjusts to the time zone difference. Uh, I love coming back this way because I naturally just wake up four or 5 a.m. Today I slept in until about six. Um, but uh, fucking loving it, loving it. So I did go to bed a little bit later that last night and I wanna make sure I don't make that mistake too often. I need to start cutting all my tech at 8 p.m. at the latest and wind down for the evening, get to bed by nine and repeat wake up at 4 uh 4 35 you know depending on how much sleep my body needs um gotta make sure i don't hit snooze although since i've been back i've been practicing no alarms um and today was the one day i woke up early and i'm like yeah i could use another hour so i set an alarm just in case for some reason i slept like three hours four hours after that um but uh practicing no alarms making sure when I wake up I get up um, you know something I've always battled with uh, snooze buttons and whatnot so yeah what is it uh, seven months sober too so haven't had a as, as clear a, clear of a head as I do since my teenage years believe it or not it's pretty wild to think about uh, 20 plus years wild but let's do a quick recap as to the channel i forget where we left off if i'm being honest as far as the last stream the subscriber count etc etc i did take a short break um as you know i took a break because i had my goddaughter her family my best friend growing up visit me in portugal and uh, I maintained doing one video a day for the first maybe six or seven days they were there. But I noticed myself doing more low effort videos. And the last video I did, aside from the one about the chow chows, which didn't perform well, I think I did this on Friday. Um, I wanted to at least get one. I went from doing them daily, I up uploaded it here saying new videos every week. I want to get back to doing them daily. However, we're going to shift pretty soon into more long form and then break down that long form into shorts. Uh, because while this is fun and it's been effective, as you can see, we're almost at 18,000 subscribers. I think we did surpass that at one point, but it went down. So some people unsubscribed, which is totally chill. It's whatever. Um, I am blown away by the results, if I'm being honest. I was not expecting to get there in... 30 days but i blew past 10,000 subscribers in 30 days 31 total videos i think two of those maybe three of those are more than a minute long so quote unquote long form um but let's just go take a look at the analytics and you can see a drop off here so the last one i did wow was that on february 9th 19th that's wild so i took an 11 day break Shit, I didn't mean to take that long of a break. Um, wild, wild. All right, let's get back straight into it. You know, this is, uh, it's not what I wanted. I wanted to be consistent, but I didn't want to keep doing low effort videos. It just didn't feel good. Um, and I did get hit with a uh, copyright strike. So the last video I did that you won't see here is about the Otterhound. And the Otterhound is a very rare breed there's not a lot of content around it as far as like media and uh, 
free stock images and I remember rushing through a video in less than 30 minutes posted it the next day I got hit with a copyright strike so I have a strike for 90 days uh, and that was a sign to me all right slow it down stop posting these low effort videos every day because you're gonna keep making more mistakes because that was a mistake that I shouldn't have made but I was rushing right um, and hence the break so uh, we're back today we're gonna do a video um, it's going to be a short. I don't think we're going to work on the long form today. But, uh, yeah, still pretty wild about these results. So the goal here is, you know, verbally, I'm going to share it with you. I want to hit 100K by the by May, essentially, by the end of April, by springtime. Um, and a million by the end of the year. Um, now, those are kind of vanity metrics. At the end of the day, subscribers don't count or don't really matter as much as you think they do. Uh, what matters is the quality of content and what you're doing when it comes to brand partnerships and sponsorships. Um, not sure if I shared this with you before I took the break. However, you know, as soon as we get to that 100K mark or close to it, I'm gonna be reaching out to local shelters, rescue centers, and just asking them if I can come on site, film, and talk to them about their mission, talk to them about, you know, just, just an interview style. Um, let me rephrase that. Just to come on board and do like an interview style video to help promote what they're doing, to help bring awareness to their facility or rescue center, uh, and to make content out of it course right but uh, I'm not gonna ask anything I'm not going to pay anything most importantly right this is all um, we're trying to grow this thing with with minimal down payment as possible um, but the idea is to spread the love and show people that there's just so many dogs out there and you don't need to go spend you know two thousand three thousand five thousand ten thousand whatever people are spending on these designer breeds or trendy breeds there are so many dogs in the shelters and you know both of my dogs that i've i've had and blue's gonna actually come with me here even though my family adopted him from me um they both i didn't buy them i didn't you know buy them in the sense of uh thousands of dollars i think it was like a hundred dollar rehoming fee they were mistake litters that were on their way to the pounds um and it just so happened to to kind of fall in my lap both of them um and uh yeah so i really want to focus this channel more on that as well as you know doing unique videos where i i have an idea right now for uh seven celebrities and their dog breeds type of video um and to pick, you know, this is a bit clickbaity, but you know, we got to get to 100K somehow. And slow and steady will get there, but I don't know if it'll get there within the next uh, two months. So we got to do a little, little work as far as coming up with unique ideas to create. And I think that uh, creating them around celebrities, especially celebrities who are trending, is going to pump that number way up. Um, but until I do that video, I want to get some more of these shorts out. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about this, if you're not already already subscribed, I believe if you just type in We Are Dog in YouTube, we are now the first option. Took a while to get there, um, but we come up first now. So we're going to also be doing a little bit of rebranding because... Uh, While this logo has been great for 30 days, I, I, I want to shift it a bit. Um, we're going to keep the same theme of the logo with the YouTube button as, as, as the nose. Um, but we're going to change the logo entirely. And then the banner, I'm going to get rid of the text. It's going to be a visual banner uh, with subscribe new videos every week. And keep that as the commitment, right? One new long form video per week but then pump out the shorts every day. Um, and yeah, 
Let's get straight into it. What's today's idea? I don't even think I have one. Well, I do I have a backlog of ideas. So let's bring it in here. And I think, ah, so this was, it was kind of keeping the theme of the idea that I had originally for the channel of doing inspirational quotes and dog, cute dogs. Um, but I'm going to pick famous people their quotes and dog breeds that they own, mesh them all together, which I think would be a fun video. Um, I just need to start downloading and downloading and downloading media and come up with a, with a script. I don't think I've done that yet. Ah, I did do a few people. Um, but we need to add more. Justin Bieber, very popular name. Uh, Jennifer Aniston. I don't know if she's as popular, but I used to watch a lot of Friends, and I found uh, a cute dog that she owns right now, and I, I, I just loved it, so I put her on there, and then Kendall Jenner, um, very popular name right now. So we're going to go down that list. I think w with uh, the rise of Sydney Sweeney, we'll see if she has any pets and uh, hopefully dogs, and although she's not as established you know, in the industry as far as like having a lot of quotes that I doubt i like so but i know jennifer aniston there's a few quotes out there that i could use justin bieber as well uh kendall jenner for sure so but that's not for today that's not for today i think oh i guess i had two tiles for chow chows no i already did the chow chow the other day so we'll move that to done not so tiny lap dogs so <clears throat> this one's interesting because it's not going to be a lot of voice related content here. I don't need to do a big script. It's more a compilation, right, of dogs who think they're lap dogs. So I need to figure out how to not have too much dead space. Maybe I splice together the video and then or somewhat structure of the video. I remember going through and downloading a ton. So let's just start a new project here. Not so tiny lap dogs. Let's make sure that this is set to be nine by 16. Let's go in and as you'll start to see so I'm with the copyright strike I don't know exactly who it was what account did it there wasn't much specifics I did have to attend a copyright school I watched a video took a quiz passed and now um, completely unrelated to that I submitted for monetization on the first level I wasn't um, high enough as far as views on shorts to get the second level but they didn't approve me and now I have to create a YouTube video um, that's going to be unpublished as far as like what my process is um, so I'm getting in the habit of each video I download I put the tag of the account and you'll notice on this last video that I posted at the very bottom I put the, uh, the tag it's kind of hidden away I might move it up but I don't want to confuse people as well um, did you know that Chow so I'd love Chow your feedback on what you think about that. Breeds. Watch until the end to learn more. Chow Chows are medium to large sized dogs with males yeah. typically weighing between 55. All right. Let's do close Lightroom. We'll do close. Actually, no, we don't. Breeds. Large lap dogs. Oh, shit. Uh, I think we'll do this one video since I, this is an idea from the 13th. Since I have all this media already downloaded, I think I'm just going to rock it for today's video. And, you know, all new media that I download, I'll make sure to include. Um, yeah, I think I should. Great day. Great Dane. That looks like a Dogo Mastiff mix. Is that a St. Bernard? I 
think so. Golden Retriever. Yeah, I think we're gonna work on the script a bit. But I do wanna have some text and maybe this is gonna be a super short video. Uh, maybe 30 seconds or less on this one, just to get in the routine of, of pumping one out every day. Um, and then what we'll probably do is work on that celebrity script a little bit more live on the show. Or we'll work on my new portfolio website for the photography initiatives uh, and my creative side. Um, I've been slacking. I've been meaning to do this. Oh, it looks like I thought this WordPress installation failed. Um, cool. So it's live. Awesome. So now I need to put a little placeholder with links to my OpenSea, et cetera, et cetera, as I continue to work on a portfolio page, which is going to be inspired by Revivora and Scott Borrero. Watch, I knew I fucking butchered that. How did I butcher that? Sorry, Scott. Whoa. Interesting. Is it Tacono now? Yeah, I guess so. Interesting. I fuck. Sorry, Scott. I think you let your domain lapse there, bud. Cause you, I think you had it, but now it's this and tries to tell me I have a virus. So I'm going to mesh together these two, um, which are two friends of mine. I look up to them quite a bit as photographers. Scotty, I can't say thank you enough for all the help uh, and support and advice. And uh, I really like what he did here. I mean, he's got a lot of great shots. He's, he's, he's a well-vetted uh, photographer. But I think I can do something similar on a banner, like for the first seven, seven days, and just kind of pick the ones that stand out the most and do some type of carousel banner. Uh, but then I love the simplicity of Rubbies. Um, the header, the title, right? Kind of like the focus of what kind of creative he is. Um, he's got a lot to put in here, so I'm, I'm probably not going to have these this, this much uh, depth on the site. I think I'm going to keep it to a one-page layout and then a contact page. Um, or possibly just a one-page layout and these links will auto-scroll you. I think that's probably what I'm going to do at first, but in a few years, I'll adapt, you know, I'll ad adapt the site to something more in depth like this with actual pages for projects that I work on for, for brands. Um, because this is one of many goals is to become a professional photographer, uh, possibly even a videographer where I create videos, but director is not really you know Ruby's uh worked with a lot of big brands microsoft mastercard cantus which i'm actually curious Ruby, did you get some business class flights or like first class flights hook it up let's make it happen fitbit i mean he's worked with a lot of big brands acura nike i think uh jeep is somewhere in there range rover is somewhere in there um work with a lot of right here clients Disney, AT&T, Uber, HP, Jordan, I mean, PBS, tons of brands. So soon, one day, one day. But for now, we do one a day, one a day. So, but I really like his structure here, at least like above the fold here. I really fell in love with the simplicity above the fold. So I think I'm going to have something very similar here with a banner for the project that I'm currently working on. And then kind of quick about me contact socials and then a form if people want to work with me or hire me for various tasks um, or jobs so yeah without squirrel ado I kind of want to just work on that now but let's pump out a video let's pump out a video in, the, in this video we witness some of the most adorable tiny lap dogs they may not be tiny to us but to them they'll always be our babies Great Danes to the well-known Golden Retrievers. There's no limit. Uh, and the less 
Sir, no, no. Dogo Mastiff. All of these dogs will forever have a fur baby mindset. If they sit, if they can sit, they can fit. <laughs> I don't like that one. Let's see how it sounds. I'm not going to do my voice today. Let's go to 11 Labs. In this video, we witness some of the most adorable tiny lap dogs. They may not be tiny to us, but to them, they'll always be our babies. From Great Danes to the well-known Golden Retrievers and the lesser-known Dogo Mastiff, all of these dogs will forever have a fur baby mindset. If they can sit, they can fit. Let us know which one's your favorite in the comments below. Ah, not bad. 25 seconds. I'm going to roll with it. Tiny lap dogs. Because it's all about repetition. Uh, repetition with time to create um, the reason I took that break and the reason I got that copyright strike is it was the end of my days not the beginning of my days like it is now I didn't have much time I was tired it was after a day of hosting of traveling of exploring and right before I was going to bed is when I you know snuck in the time to do it um, and the reason I did that, I didn't want to take away from being present with the family while they were out there in Portugal. I didn't want to say, oh, I got to do this. You know, you guys kind of do your own thing, which I'm sure they wouldn't have mind. But how often does that happen? Right. I wanted to be present. I chose to do that. So. And I think for tomorrow's video, I'm also going to do, uh, maybe we'll actually record the video live for YouTube. Um, we'll have to do two separate streams. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that because I need to use OBS to record it, but they don't want it more than five minutes. So they don't want to see start to finish the whole process, which is usually an hour, hour and a half. Um, so I'm going to have to do a video, go offline, maybe record it. This is what happens when you don't stream every day. You're kind of out of practice. Um, we'll figure it out, but I think we're going to, I want to do that as soon as possible as a deadline to um, appeal the, um, monetization is the 11th so i want to get that submitted before the 11th so tomorrow's the fifth i'm going to make sure it's tomorrow in this video we witness all right let's see what is i don't like how that's text right in the middle let's see if it goes better Ah, I think that's unusable. <laughs> All right, those won't do. In this video, we witness some of the most adorable tiny lap dogs. In this video, we. Witness some of the most adorable tiny lap dogs.
tiny lapdogs. They may not be tiny to us, but to them, they'll always be our baby. Lapdogs. They may not be tiny to us, but to them, they'll always be our babies. From be our babies. From Great Dane, the well known golden retrievers. From Great Danes. to the well-known golden retrievers tricks? and the lesser-known dogo mastiff Mastiff. All of these dogs will forever have go Mastiff. All of these dogs will forever have a fur. Mastiff. All of these dogs will forever have a fur baby. What? What? from... In this video, we witness some of the most adorable, tiny lap dogs. They may not be tiny to us, but to them, they'll always be our babies. From Great Danes to the well-known Golden Retrievers and the lesser-known Dogo Mastiff, all of these dogs will forever have a fur baby mindset. Good, good, good. Looking good. Let's get this one.
mindset. If they can sit, they can fit. can sit, they can fit. They can fit. Let us know which In this video, we witness some of the most adorable, tiny lap dogs. They may not be tiny to us, but to them, they'll always be our babies. From Great Danes to the well-known Golden Retreat, From Great Danes to the well-known Golden Retrievers and the lesser-known Dogo Mastiff, all of these dogs will forever have a fur baby mindset. If they... In this video, we witness some of the most adorable, tiny lap dogs. They may not be tiny to us, but to them, they'll always be our babies. From Great Danes to the well-known Golden Retrievers and the lesser-known Dogo Mastiff, all of these dogs will forever have a fur baby mindset. If they can sit, they can fit. Let us know which one's your favorite in the comments below. Not a bad video. Could be better. Could always be better. But you know. Good old crypto market booming. Get all the messages. All right. What we want to do is hit auto captions, create. Yeah, and another fun fun thing I'm going through right now is, is cleansing. Cleansing not uh, not just diet, not just mind, but possessions. Um, which I think weighs, weighs a lot of us down. And we don't realize it. Um, I got back and I proceeded to clean and just move shit into one of the rooms that I normally have a chair and a couch or some seating area. And it's literally just bins of shit shit I've accumulated, shit I told myself I needed. Um, I'm going to be selling the, the most high ticket stuff and then honestly probably giving the rest of it away because of the energy, the stress associated with listing everything one by one on eBay. That life's not for me. I can do just more effective things with my time rather than that. Um, but I do got to get rid of this stuff. So we'll see. A lot of it is, I'd say half of it is Web3 stuff. 
which is amazing to think about. So I think what we're going to do is do some fun giveaways for holders of the first 777 um, and start promoting that project more because I've just been showing up every day, but I do want to start being more aggressive with letting people know it's there. Um, oh, don't tell me that. What? Okay. They're including like a, a pro section now. Interesting. Nothing's always free. Not forever. As soon as people realize they can make money off of it, things change. I wish there was a search feature for text here. But there's not. I have to go up. I must have passed it. It should be right here somewhere. Looking for Montserrat. Oh, there is. Cool, they did add that feature. There we go, text. I've been using F1500, our yellow. Maybe I'll change it at some point. So, middle, and let's come down here. In this video, we witness some of the most adorable tiny la in this video we witness some of the most adorable tiny lap dogs they may not be tiny to us but to them they'll always be our babies from great danes to the well-known golden retrievers and the lesser known dogo mastiff all of these dogs will forever have a fur baby mindset. If they can sit, they can fit. Let us know which one's your favorite in the comments below. So let's add some music. Upbeat. In this video, we witness some of the most adorable tiny lap dogs. They may not be tiny to us, but to them. No, that's not going to fit. Too much going on there. In this video, we witness some of the most adorable. In this video, we witness some of the most adorable tiny lap dogs. They may not be tiny to us, but to them, they'll always be babies. From Great Danes to the well-known Golden Retrievers and the lesser-known Dogo Mastiff, all of these dogs will forever have a fur baby mindset. If they can sit, they can fit. Let us know which one's your favorite in the comments below. Repetition, repetition. Wait a second, I have to join Pro to export now? All right, CapCut, this is uh, this is not cool. This is not cool. You went from being free to now you've changed. What a fucking joke. <laughs> What? Are you kidding me? So the captions are the reason. Just 
just want to see what it looks like as I export it there. In this video, we witness some of the most adorable. Because the video still showed the captions. Let's see if maybe that was something else. In this video, we witness some of the most... Oh, wow. That's some other feature that we don't need yet. So it's still showing the captions. So let me fix the cover. Move the trash. Cool. Yeah, as long as we stay away from using the pro features, we should be okay. <laughs> it's a goofy image. I kind of want to use it just because of that. Fold. Got it. Go to caps. Let's bring this into SSD 100. Stroke. Six. Give it some width. So tiny. Kind of like that right there. Let's bring that up to 35, 33, 33.5. Let's bring it up there. Maybe I do it opposite. So tiny lap dogs. I like it. Let me save. And now we can export. Yeah, we don't need that caption yet. In this video, we witness some of the most adorable tiny lap dogs. They make Yo, yo, what's up, Sultan? Yeah, I hope you're doing well. Yep, I know. Good old times. It's been a while. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by. Why are things changing so much? It used to work just fine. Oh, it just needed some time to buffer. <laughs> Weird. 
All right. Let's go ahead and post this. Let's just start archiving all these folders. All right, this is almost uploaded. is going on? This is the weirdest thing. Okay. In this video, we witness some of the most adorable. Oh, huh. For some reason, it didn't export the video on the last one. It's the weirdest thing. Got it working though. Wait a moment. <coughs> I guess it's a longer video than I thought. Well, no, there must be an issue with the internet here. Hmm. Let's see what the speed is. Significantly slower than Portugal, but why? It should be just as fast, if not faster. Got to do some maintenance to the network at some point. So far, it's been fine, so I'm going to keep rolling with it, but um, we are going to completely revamp my, uh, my server rack. I'm bringing in um, close to a 50 terabyte storage server, um, which is a NAS server fancy word fancy abbreviation for network attached storage but the idea is I'm already starting to fill up four terabyte drives for photography and videography and that's only going to increase um, so I want to keep a few that are in my backpack right just for those basic backups but then backups that I can not only access from anywhere in the world but just a centralized place for full redundancy that way if one of these drives fails I have time to replace it because of the uh, the way I'll be configuring the RAID on that server. But it's not going to be cheap. It's going to cost about I think twenty five hundred. The last I checked, I need to get a. I might increase the size of the drives, but right now I think I'm going to use eighteen terabyte hard drives and just do four by eighteen. Um, in a RAID five. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe if prices come down, I will do just an even 20 terabyte hard drives. All right, download, post, stamp, 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 stamp. There it is. close that out might have to jo join pro I mean it's pretty cheap but I want, I'm trying to get rid of subscription based payments <laughs> of course they would incorporate another one 
tiny lap dogs, lap dogs, great Dane, uh, Coach Rose, Dogo, Dogo Mastiff, Mastiff, St. Bernard, Dog Breed, I think I'm writing that correctly. In this video, we witness the All right. Not so tiny. seeing that chart i hate seeing me let off the gas should have kept going full speed stream ahead probably would have been like 25k by now oh well lesson learned don't stop never stop keep going but i did need i did need that time so blessing in disguise save and we're all set for today's video now I do got to shift gears here I'm gonna do a few things so as much as I want to keep the stream rolling I'm gonna work on my portfolio a little bit later plus there's parts of that process I can't really show you live on the show so it's best that I kind of go through it and then maybe I can show you in a few days the edit real time uh, once I'm done configuring everything um, making everything secure, then we can, we can do that. So, um, but yeah, this has been another episode of Bitmonkey TV, just about an hour, not bad, short video. So gave you a quick update of, of what's going on and, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, drop a comment below, DM me, let me know your thoughts on this dog channel. Uh, feedback criticism is encouraged so let me hear it appreciate you for tuning in until tomorrow peace i don't even have it open so you're gonna hear me talk until we actually officially sign off all right catch you tomorrow oh yeah and today's start time won't always be the consistent start time i'd rather start an hour earlier in the day um but i did have some things this morning that just uh took up some time so I'm going to aim for 8.30 Pacific, 11.30 um, a.m. Eastern. 
but for now maybe we'll do this uh, 9 30 pacific um 12 30 eastern but stay tuned i'll always schedule the episode roughly 60 30 to 60 minutes before the start time so just hit that notification bell so you don't miss when we schedule a live stream thank you so much for tuning in hope everybody has a great day and i'll catch you tomorrow morning